it's a lot of pressure. I think, you know, it's a lot of money on the line. Yeah. It's a lot of money on the line. Ten bands, a lot of money. That's that's top tier bread. Like, you know what I'm saying? So how about this? Since we got right ahead, you this is what, like three classes after yours? Mm -hmm. Do you think that one of these crucible or tournament situations would have furthered your class or furthered yeah. your personal career? Yeah. Definitely. It would have been five? Definitely. Especially like around this time, like I'm not gonna say it would have been on BT or nothing when I was coming up, but like just a tournament since period. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because winning matters. Yeah. You know, and then when you get to the last part, even even if you do lose in that situation, it's just different because the eyes is on a tournament. It's who's gonna be the best right. out of all of these people. Even though I might not know all of these people. But it's a tournament going on, and I'm I'm tuned in to see who I like. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And at the end, you know the winner's gonna be the winner, but you're gonna have your favorites from that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm very thankful for uh, the honeycomb hideout situation, though. Yeah, that was why. Because wild. every time I'm at that a we tournament came, in the honeycomb bro, hideout, crazy. What? That Ooh. because you had like you had a uh, black star, mm -hmm. you know when like. Smack and all that shit was going on, right. and even other places used it as well. But that was an iconic spot. Right. Honeycomb Hideout was becoming that spot. Right. And then after that, you have all of these PGs all over the place, and that's why I feel like the PGs didn't matter as much anymore because you're having a PG in Houston, you're having a PG in Cali, you're having a PG in Merlin, you're having a PG in Richmond. Yeah, back then you had to fly to New York and get yeah. you had to hit that snow. Or yeah. Whatever the fuck was going on out there that day, it's usually when, snow. I feel like it was a little bit more effective when it was isolated as yeah, opposed because, to being spread throughout the because, country. Because right, the hunger so, was felt more. Exactly, because the I hunger was felt more. Niggas was getting PGs because of where they were from. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Back then, like in New York, like when there was just one, not even saying if it was just New York, let's say Richmond is the new spot for PGs. For it to be a specific spot for a PG. It means, yo, you got to be one of the best of the best newer niggas to get to here. Get here. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Get there. Yeah. Right. That makes sense. And, and I feel like that's what's missing with the PGs now. Yeah. You know. So, but you feel like the tournament can kind of bring that hunger back. Facts. Would you? So, so if it's an eight nigga joints from the Honeycomb Hideout era, mm -hmm. eight to sixteen man jump, who winning the whole thing? Me. You better have said I'll go get back. I'll wait for you to I'll wait for you to sit here and try to deliberate and yeah. make it. Yo, well, you know what I mean? You know uh what you call it had a whole bunch of <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you know what I mean? Fire, man. But a lot of I don't crowd, know a lot of, a lot of not crowd. saying that's my answer. What's your answer? I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna say right by default because I'm right. biased. But he gotta say him though. <laughs> he gotta yeah. say him. But it was a, that Honeycomb like Hideout era was, cr you had, was you crazy. Had, you had the whole We Go Hard was, was a too. You had me versus Chef Trez. You had Jack versus Fetty. You had, that's the first time we seen Geechee. Uh, even um, Snake Eyes and uh, Bull from Philly. With Butter? No, not uh, Butter. Oh, yeah. Not, uh, he battled Big Hand there. Yeah, no, he battled Big like, Hand in, in, in uh, Black Bear. Black Mugger? Black Mugger. I think that's what it was. I think that I was his first battle before you. His battle before you? Nah, that was after me. Oh, he battled a nigga named Black Mug. I just yeah. know that. So that that was a good battle too. He had the Black Widow joint in that joint. You know what I'm saying? No, he. Uh, that's when he said the uh, see how I see shit. Yeah, yeah. When he said the see how I see shit, that was a honeycomb hot up. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. Who yeah, yeah. Who was it? I can't remember Black who he said. Black Mug. Was oh, it Black Mug? Yeah, yeah. So you had that. Like all of that was in the same night. You know what I'm saying? Holmesy and then was on a different. But you know what I'm saying? But then you had Holmesy versus Holmes, Moves. Holmes, yeah, you know Holmes versus Moves in there. That was crazy. And you had uh, uh, Joe. Joe. Yeah. Punk. Joe weird ass said some the grip the pound shit in there. Yeah, yeah, what yeah, the yeah. fuck? Bro. Honeycomb. What the, the fuck? Somebody grip you, the you pound. Felt, <laughs> that was treacherous. Uh, you, had, you had, you felt like if I don't bring 150% in this battle, I could be gone. I almost brought right. this bitch. And I was like, yo, he from Richmond? Yeah, <laughs> peachy. Yo, he from here and we doing a battle all day? Yeah, yeah, give me peachy. But now, rather uh, feel that pressure and have that pressure on to say, I gotta win this as opposed to, eh, I know I'm gonna get a battle because I'm from this area. Exactly.